Also, I'm going to do a quick uh, YouTube intro and say, Hey, uh, this is Pokeball35. I'm currently live at 11 in the morning in one, or I guess 10.59 in the morning. In one minute, it'll be Pokemon Go Community Day uh, for Sandshrew. I'm going to be catching Sandshrew in Pokemon Go, and I'm going to be catching Pokemon in Legends Arceus, Pokedex completion, shiny hunting, all that fun stuff. So, uh, whatever footage will be used here will be from this and stuff, and this is also the start of stream number 11 of Legends Arceus. Uh, go for Legendary, then. I've already done all the Legendaries we have. Shaman, Manaphy, Fion, Dialga, Palkia. I've done all of them. We don't have any other Legendaries caught yet. Alright, it is 11. Where's the action? I'm waiting for it. There we go. Sand Shrew. Professor Willow, I did buy the ticket for this. They always have like a special ticket you can buy for a dollar. So, good morning, Pokeball35. There sure seems to be a surplus of Sand Shrew around today, don't you think? I'm especially surprised to see both Sand Shrew and Alolan the Sand Shrew appearing at once. These two forms of Sand Shrew usually prefer vastly different climates. Sand Shrew usually makes their homes in deserts and arid areas where rain does not fall. Although in Sand Shrew, on the other hand, we are typically found uh, are typically found in snowy mountains. What an uncommon sight for uh, for them to both be here together. I'm gonna lower this game even more than it already is. Uh, how about you spend some time with them and see what they're up to? I don't really know the fastest way to get to this Voltorb, so we're just gonna fly there. Hey, shiny Alolan Sand Shrew. This is a shiny I've been trying to get in Pokemon Go for ages. And I'm very glad they have a community day for this now. I tried to get shiny Alolan Sand Shrew a bunch during uh, other events like Go Fest. So hold on, now I gotta pause the game and we gotta catch this thing. Uh, you, get in the ball. I gotta move this over, and I gotta change this to a one. Bada bam. Male. It sucks. <laughs> Love the stats. Hello! You're new. Well, I'd very much like you. I don't know how to fuck to get a suing electrode, so we actually, like, very much need you. Um... I'd like to put you in a Pokeball. That would be thematically correct. Um... I'm gonna hit you with a headlong rush and hope it doesn't kill. You're, like, over ten levels above me. Uh, it's not even close. Uh, and then we're gonna hit you with, um, Agile Woodhammer. It's just a Leaf Stone. Oh. Well, this is an Alpha, and I want the Alpha. I blinked and was looking at Pokemon Go. Why is it at full health? Chrono Blast? What the? It's just, sh it's shit, it's shit on me. It just shit on me. Giant shit laser. Okay. Thanks. Uh, we're gonna hope that a Pokeball catches. It's half health now. If this doesn't catch it, we're gonna Ultra Ball this. Alright, sick. Electrode. Anyway, I need to revive my fallen ally now. Oh. Does this count as me knocking one out? It didn't die? What? Self-destruct didn't kill the Pokemon? What? What do you mean? Try 
Cherubi, normally I'd be excited for that, but I actually don't give a shit anymore. Hey, wait, no, hold on. Shiny Alolan Sancher number two. Hold on. It loves giving me shiny Alolan Sandshrew and not shiny actual Sandshrew, even though this is the shiny I've been wanting this whole time. But, I'll take it. There is now two of you in my possession. Is this one any better? No, it in fact is worse. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> Come here, you fools. I need to be catching more of you. Hello? And there's a wisp here? Alright, hold on. This is the first time we've seen a Rotom in the game. And I need this very badly. Do not do this. That is very rude of you to do that. You cannot attack me as you are an electric type and you're trying to use Thunderbolt on a ground type. It does not work like that. You're, you're being very, very rude. Uh, what if I try and throw some globs at you? Would globs be a better option? Good. Wait, there's multiple of you? Where are you coming from? That's very convenient. We can actually like work on Rotom now. Also, I'll take that Wisp. There's three remaining. I don't know how we missed that wisp as well. What's in here? Death? Yes. Mmm, nice graveler. <laughs> I seem to be in a particular situation. An iron tail missed, awesome. Good. <laughs> I was done with Torterra's tasks anyway. We're gonna go back up to camp. You're saying one of one, but I know for a fact I've seen an Alpha Ninetales in uh, Cobalt Coastlands, and I've caught it, but whatever you say. Uh, we're going to quickly look at everything here that we've got. And then I'll take a look at the entries we currently have. And I'll see if that activates Ninetales' entry. Um, I can't remember if we had Hippopotas before, but I think we have had Hippopotas before. Um, Hippowdon we definitely did not have. Short-tempered and easily moved to violence, it whips up whirlwinds of sand to crush its foe's spirits, then goes in for the attack. Uh, Duskull. I think we had Duskull. 
Vulpix. We had Vulpix. Torterra is new. And we do have Ninetales now. Uh, this remarkable large-bodied Pokemon uh, would serve beautifully uh, as borrowed scenery for a garden, and its strength is peerless. Torterra roams the wilderness in search of clean water. How much does Pokemon go covering it? All of it. It's covering all of it. <laughs> Too bad. Nine Tails. The coat of gleaming golden fur is quite magnificent. This species is said to store sacred power uh, and it's nine long tails and live a, to a, and, and to live for a millennium. Words. Uh, Miss Magus we don't have yet. Electrode and Rotom we're all working on. Uh, should I ice stone the one thing we have? I feel like we should just to get it. It feels weird to like do that if they're if the game's only giving me one of these. Uh, but you know it's for the Pokédex, and we need to complete the Pokédex. So get the ice stone. And we can get Alolan Ninetales. It's beautiful. Good. Uh, and then... A lowland form dwells on sacred peaks perpetually covered in snow, said to appear to uh, vir uh, virtuous people who have lost their way on uh, mountain paths. It then guides them back down to the mountain's base. There's no way that this isn't not what he wants, so... I thought he was going to be in the Pearl Settlement, which is why I checked there yesterday. But he wasn't there. He was for some reason just here. I'm sorry, Adam, and there's a sand shrew. It's a 420 sand shrew, dude. Alright, we'll catch this and then I'll take the I'll take a Pokemon Go off the screen so we can see the whole thing. I'll let you know if there's a shiny at all. Uh let us take Pokemon Go off the screen. Oh, and also all these other things as well. Okay, so, uh, you know, time changes a lot of things, but the sea stays the same. The Celestia people must have looked out at this exact same view long ago. I've got a favor to ask, Chandler. Just a random feel just walked up to Adam and... <laughs> That was perfectly timed for no- why- why the- okay. What is it? It's about, uh, something my grandfather told me. He said the adamant crystal had the power to change Mighty Dialga into its otherworldly form. Whoa! Oh, this feels suppo- This feels- Random comedic feel. For no reason. Literally no reason. Put this feel there just to- For something. Uh, I want to- I want to see if all the strength uh, my partners and I have got is enough to take down Mighty Dialga in that otherworldly form. <laughs> Mighty Dialga gave us the gift of time, and I want to see its real power in battle. Let's do it. Mighty Dialga, let me stand before you as leader of the Diamond Clan to find out in battle what I'm really made of. Well, the frickin' Irida fight took a one million years for no reason, so hopefully this will be a lot easier. Well, then Adam, Adam didn't know the name of it, and then we finally learned the name of it, so. Um, what do I have for literally anything here? Uh, pretty much nothing. Uh, for all of these, we're gonna hope that Earth Power will one-shot the Vaporeon. It does jack shit. Is this gonna be an even harder fight? At least I resist. Um, but like, can you die to Roar of Time? 
Alright, cool. Vaporeon's gone. I don't even start with the quick attack shenanigans. Please. Leave me alone. Uh, this is why I bought four restores. Actually, I don't even need to use it. We're actually at a decent amount of HP. I can just Hyper Potion. Please stop. Okay. Oh, uh, there's a Sand True. It's not shiny. There's another Sand True, and it's also not shiny. You don't have to worry about it. You're not missing anything. Um, okay, so Umbreon. Can we Roar of Time the Umbreon? That really didn't kill. There's a Young Goose. The young goose is also not shiny. Can you leave me alone, please? Uh, the, here's where I'd like to uh, full restore. <laughs> it's Dialga. It's Origin Dialga. If only we had Primal Dialga. I mean, not with the critical hits. Man, this is why I love Dialga, though. Not the origin-looking Dialga, just Dialga in general. Because it will actually land its attacks. Because let me tell you, we missed four spatial runs in a row when we were trying to do things uh, with Palkia. We literally did this fight first try when the Palkia fight took like 15 minutes. Alright, well I can pull everything else back up, I guess. The sheer power of Mighty Dialga. It's too much to comprehend. I'm still shaking, even now. Uh, but through our battle, I think I understood the will of Mighty Dialga. Isn't that amazing? When you battle all out with someone, you really understand them. Imagine if everyone in his suite partnered up with Pokemon to express themselves through battle. Living here would be even more fun. I think I'll have my clan's folks start uh, uh, training up at Jubilife's training grounds. Hope we can count on seeing you there, Chandler. Good. And I got a Leaf Stone. It's nice that Irida gives you the stone to get Glaceon, and Adamant gives you the stone to get Leafeon, which is their aces. Yep. Never mind, it still got in the ball though. Nice! I don't have space in my satchel. Of course I don't. Um. I love picking up all of these things. Okay, well, we got the Empoleon I came here for. There is an old verse here. We've been here so many times, and I never found this old verse. How did I never find this old verse? Alright, well, uh, hold on. I think the whole text box fixed on screen without removing Pokemon Go. So, old verse 5. 
Uh, long and longer yet ago, Celestia was here, but folk and town alike both did disappear. In time... ...came new folk sailing, sailing across the sea, called uh, by their love for Sinnoh, great and almighty. But different were the Sinnoh that each folk did hold dear, and bitter strife and angry war were always at the near. Celestia, uh, they called themselves, and the name not theirs to take, yet claim it from the past they did for tragic quarrel's sake. So once again did our name live, though all our people gone. But even if the name endures, its heart does not live on. Did we have almost all of these now? I've done a good job at finding, finding them on my own. I haven't looked up a single one. One, two, three, four, five. Well, I'm missing six and seven. Eight, nine, missing ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, missing seventeen, eighteen, missing nineteen. So I won't. A hey, shiny regular Sandshrew, Cantonian style. Give me that. Now, with the Mantines using Roost, this makes it easier to grind this out as well. I can now finally change this to a 1. Boom. And look at that! The stats are garbage! Okay. Uh, Leafeon. We had Leafeon already. I don't... I think? Yeah. Uh, Umbreon, Mantine. This calm and gentle Pokemon swims gracefully through the sea. After building speed, it can leap out of the water. Uh, it is often uh, misidentified as a bird due to this behavior. Uh, Tentacruel. I think we had already, but I don't remember. Uh, okay, we have Espeon, but it's not fully done. We just need to use Baby Doll Eyes and Agile one time. Uh, Electrode, as we inform. The tissue on the surface of its body is uh, curiously similar in composition to an apricorn. When irritated, this Pokemon lets loose an electric current equal to 20 lightning bolts. And Rotom, this bizarre Pokemon appears to be a will-o'-the-wisp powered by electricity. Be wary, as Rotom is both smart and mischievous. We can also now go get all of Rotom's forms and put them in the Pokedex as well. So let us go do that. I believe we have bought all of the Rotom items from Ginter. Uh, electricity box. It's a electrolyzer. Thank you very much. Okay, been waiting to do this for a long time. Your Rotom seems to want to investigate the lawnmower's motor. Will you let it in? Choose a Rotom. My own Rotom. Rotom's new form has changed what moves it can use. Leaf Storm. Cool. And then we're gonna do this. And then you learn a Hydro Pump. And then... I don't know what the hell I'm reading right now, but it's not anything I'm interested in. What's interesting is that the only Rotom form that exists in Pokemon Go right now... Uh, is only Rotom Wash. Like, not even Rotom, like, basic. Just Rotom Wash. It was a special event Pokemon for Go Fest 2020. And, like, they didn't release any other Rotoms. Just Wash. Uh, 
fridge. Uh, and then... Rotom Microwave. And last but not least, Rotom Fan. Very good. I do think my favorite of all of them uh, is probably Lawnmower. Or not Lawnmower, what am I- I look- I say Lawnmower and look at the microwave. But no, we're gonna change you back into microwave, but I need to get all the forms. Okay, I'm gonna hope that I actually, like, put them in the Pokedex. Uh, but I'm also probably gonna have to check with, uh... Okay, now it does. Uh, Heat Rotom. A form in which Rotom, uh, lurks within a strange cauldron. The cauldron's origin is unknown. A bothersome Pokemon, uh, causing trouble with the flames it spits. Uh, Wash Rotom. A form in which Rotom lurks within an odd bureau. The bureau's purpose is unknown. The bothers a bothers of Pokemon causing trouble by splashing cold water everywhere. Uh, Frost Rotom, a form in which Rotom lurks within a bizarre cupboard. The cupboard's com uh, composition is unknown. A bothersome Pokemon causing trouble by frosting everything over. Fan Rotom, a form in which Rotom lurks within a mysterious contraption. The contraption's purpose is unknown. A bothersome Pokemon causing trouble by stirring up powerful winds. And Mo Rotom, a form uh, in which Rotom lurks within a mis uh, mi misshapen wheelbarrow. <laughs> the wheelbarrow's mechanisms are bizarre. It's a bothersome Pokemon causing trouble by mowing down grass and trees. Mowing down trees, dude. Crazy. I forgot we don't even have Chingling finished yet. I could have sworn we had Chingling finished, but I guess not. And if I had to guess... There has to be, like, a wisp or something. A wisp or an unknown. And I am curious. Can I climb this? No? Oh, there's a king's leaf back here. There is an unknown back here! Very clever. That is very good to know. Right, I think we can leave. Oh! Uh, Shiny Sandshrew. Cantonian Sandshrew number two. Hold on. A momentous occasion. It's been like two hours since the last Shiny in Pokemon Go showed up. At least it feels like it. There we go, we're two and two on each. And of course it has wonderfully garbage statistics. All that other fun stuff. Oh, shiny Alolan Sandshrew number three. You love to see it. Hold on, Laventin need to stop talking for just a second an actual like another shiny and it's the Alolan form perfect two and three uh, and the stats are actually like good preposterous all right so reading also, catch 2,500 ground types as well. Give me that. Uh, so, the stuff. Uh, Weavile. Hold on. Uh, this species corners prey as a pack under the guidance of a, of a leader. Weavile displays uh, increased cunning, uh, leading me to speculate that its evolution caused further brain development. Yo, big brain man. Um, Gliscor. 
It glides soundlessly on pitch black wings and sinks sharp fangs into the throat of its prey. It takes a look of it takes on a look of satisfaction once it has entirely drained its prey of blood. Chingling, this Pokemon gave me an excruciating headache when it seemingly cried out making uh, without making a sound. Uh, perhaps there are some sounds that the human ear is simply incapable of hearing. Piloswine. The long fur on the, of this Pokemon covers its eyes, ears, and even limbs, allowing Piloswine to resist harshly frigid conditions. The, uh, the Pokemon's white tusks can be used to defeat its enemies. Frostlass, a Pokemon inhabited by the soul of a woman who died bearing a grudge in the snowy mountains. Legends of Frostlass placing deadly curses on misbehaving men send shivers down my spine. Mammoswine, this large species reached its zenith during the period known as the Ice Age. I suspect that his Sui's frigid climate uh, is in harmony with Mammoswine's con uh, constitution, thus awakening hidden potential. Uh, Miss Magius, the incantations Miss Magius chants can ward against misfortune, so a custom exists in inviting it into one's home. <laughs> Incur the Pokemon's displeasure, however, and disaster will surely ensue. Maybe two. But I feel like I've, I've done this before. Or I've done a bunch of recoil damage to myself. Oh, nope, nope, that's literally it. 300 damage worth of recoil. Here we go. Finally getting Basque Legion. You know what? That makes total sense. And I just wasn't expecting it. At all. I don't know how many more Pokemon surprises are in this game. But... Yeah, that checks out. It was a white striped Basculin. It's an observations. Uh, Empoleon. Since ancient times, it has been revered by the people of Hisui, who call it the Master of the Waves. Its wings are a match for even master-crafted blades. And Basculegion... Oh, it's ba it says Basculegion female. Is that the reason why it looks like that, then? Because, uh, let me take Pokemon Go out. Uh, because it doesn't say white, it just says female. Uh, class itself in souls of comrades that perished before fulfilling their goals of journeying upstream. No matter, are no other species throughout all Hisui's rivers uh, is Basque Legion's equal. Hey, shiny Lolan Sancher number four. Even though the spawns aren't happening very often, I'm still averaging a good amount of shinies for a community day. Like, this is, like, about how many I get at this particular point in time anyway. And that one's also actually pretty decent. We take those. Can't evolve because it is technically outside of its ball. Okay. So this should be the Basculin that we already know of. The one that we ride around. There we go. There's Basculegion. It's very weird that the females evolve differently for Basculegion. Is Polina over here? Polina is over here. All right, well, cool. Get me out of here. I'm gonna have to take a look at the Pokedex differences here. 
right, so Magnezone. I theorize that a special magnet field influenced this Pokemon, changing its molecular structure and causing it to evolve. It emits strange radio waves towards space from its antenna. Uh, and then I'm going to get rid of this so you can see it. So, here we go. Basque Legion, male and female, they have the same Pokedex entry. But also... Basculin white striped form has the exact same form. So like it doesn't change between male and female, but it changes during its evolution, which is weird. But like sure. Cause this should make a bunch of decidui show up, and that would be really funny. <laughs> there. It is a horde of Alpha Decidui. Excuse me? I caught one of them. Uh... This isn't very good. <laughs> this isn't very good. Fucking alpha decidui, dude. What the fuck? Okay. I just need- actually, if I evolve one of the dart tricks I have in my party right now, we 100% dart tricks. Which is very funny. Also, I- didn't even know decision I could learn Leaf Storm because I haven't really looked at this. Uh, but Cleffa. In silhouette, they resemble twinkling starlight. When shooting stars rain from the night sky, Cleffa gather in numbers and dance as though they are indeed incarnations of the stars. Lucario, a most gallant looking creature. It emits energy waves and controls them with precision, using them to sense even far away beings. I have given th uh, the name Aura to this power. Confirmed Laventon. Laventon is the originator of Aura. Here is Decidui. Like mine. Compared to Alpha Decidui. <laughs> that is so dumb. And, uh, Riolu. Uh, though infantile in appearance, it has the mysterious ability to read the minds of humans. The pure of heart are met with Riolu's approval, while those of ill nature earn only its loathing. We've also 100%ed Darchix. So, with that, in the Pokédex, Pokédex, Crimson Mirelands, uh, for some reason, says 73 out of 74, but I think that's just because Azelf. Uh, but then it's 100% in every other area of the game, except for Coronet Highlands, where we need to finish uh, specifically Cranidos. Then there is just Unknown, which we will get to. Um, Spiritum, which we will get to. And then all the rest of the Legendaries and Mythicals. So, uh, it's been four and a half hours of this particular stream. Uh, I would hopefully like to see if we can find more, um, Kranidos from space-time distortions, but that involves, like, actually finding a space-time distortion. And I don't know if we will find another one there very easily, but I think I could probably put my actual party back to- back together again. Oh, wait, actually, wait. Hold on. For some reason, Kranidos now says, even though I only had... It was at three regular data, and then I just did three more things. Actually, all we have to do now is just evolve it. I don't need another one. <laughs> I don't know how three plus three equals nine. Uh, but according to this game, 3 plus 3 equals 9. So we will just get a Rampardos, and that will give us 
10 research data. There we go. An incredibly rare sight. They duel each other by ramming their heads together. Uh, and the resulting sound echoes throughout the area like uh, the peeling of a bell. So, that's it, I guess, for now. Uh, we can return to the village. I might want to keep... I think I might want to keep streaming, because there's still an hour and 20 minutes left of my incense, and it would just be a waste to just not do anything with it, even though we haven't seen a shiny in, like, an hour. Um, we could try and do shiny finding stuff, but for the most part, the entire Pokedex is now complete, uh, with the exception of the stuff that I already said was the exception. Uh, we could go after the rest of the wisps today, but I don't really want to do that. Um, during my next stream of Legends Arceus, I would like to continue with the rest of the uh, post-game story, or at least, like, continue it. Not like, I don't know if we'll finish it. I highly doubt we'll finish it next time. Is it random breviary up there at 2 FPS? It is right in front of me. That's a rough lit. Plamp, deal with this rough litian. Or you could just miss, I guess. Get in. I can't tell which is the front and which is the back of the Ralts because they look the same both ways. Ah! Well then. <laughs> My heart rate just shot up like 40 <laughs> for like a half a second. Um... Uh, I need to glob. Okay. Uh. Hold on. I'm gonna hope you don't run away. Alright, cool, we're fine. Uh, we're gonna get you in a great ball. Now here's the way to end the stream, right? Well, that's unfortunate. <laughs> Why would you not catch it a great ball? I was gonna glob it, but then I thought it was gonna run away because it was running for so long. And then... Like, I just wanted to throw the great ball in the battle because I can't damage it. And then I just run away anyway. Well, according to Pokemon Go... Um... I have another five shiny Ralts, uh, plus a shiny Gallade and two shiny Gardevoirs, so I'm not really missing out <laughs> on anything. Uh, but that was really stupid. Uh, we could hopefully maybe see out the rest of the outbreak, and another one will show up, because it is possible. Please. Okay. I... 
I don't want any part of you right now. <laughs> Honestly, that's my first shiny fail in years. But, like, I'm not even mad. Because it's a shiny I don't even care about. Because I have so many in other forms. I think I have a couple shiny Ralts in Pokemon Home as well. Um... It's just, it's just funny. Actually, no, it's not even my shot, my first shiny fail in a long time because there was the one shiny I didn't even know about that existed at all until someone pointed it out in the YouTube comments of a Legends Arceus video where there was a shiny Roselia that showed up for two seconds that I couldn't even see. Alright, well, I'm pretty much done then. Uh, I'll play out the last hour of the community today on my own and, like, go take a nap. I love how I caught, like, every Ralts in that outbreak except the shiny because I was scared that it was gonna, like, run away in the overworld and then it ran away otherwise. Whatever, whatever man. There's, there's plenty of time to find another one. There's totally plenty of time to find another one. I'm not just trying to cope or anything.